do you stay focused? You've had the spotlight on you since you were young. Um, you have you probably have a lot of people reaching out to you on a consistent basis. But with us talking, you're all, you're talking about your day ones. You're talking about having fun, keeping people smiling. How do you stay focused and kind of keep the noise away? Honestly, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I just I know from from being so young and playing baseball and being a pitcher and being a girl at that, like I had to figure out how to you know zone people out during games, um, which I don't know how how it came about, but I just remember like whenever I'm pitching, like I could not hear anything besides my teammates and my coaches. Um, and I didn't realize that that happened until Little League happened, until the first game when my mom's like, did you hear everybody screaming? I'm like, no. Like, only thing I heard was, like, everything that was going on on the field. And she's like, well, there are a lot of people screaming. And then, like, the last inning, the umpire called time because it was just so loud. And it was like, he's like, all right, we got to call time for a little bit, let everyone settle down. And that's when I realized, like, wow, like, I can block things out. Um, so I try to, like, block so much out that, like, I don't want it, like, that won't help me become a better person or a better player. Um, but I've always had the same friends around me, um, same family members, you know. I just kind of stay in my tight little circle. Um, right. I don't go out as much. I don't really like going out as much. Um, I think really just, like, being a homebody – kind of help me stay focused you know not feeding into you know seeing people from school what they do if they go party and stuff you know kind of just stay by myself um i try to lately i've i've been staying off of social media um just because i feel like it's just not the greatest place to be um because so many people so many people have so much time that they're just always on social media and there's just so much going on so i try to stay away from that and if i do go on social media it's just like to check like what's going on around the world. Check. I, I would always check for like the COVID facts. Um, so I just, you know, really try to stay away from that. And, you know, I, that's kind of how I stay focused, you know, just kind of blocking out negativity and stuff that's not important to my life. Right. Makes sense. What's your favorite uh, social media? Is it, a, is it Instagram? Is it Twitter? Because Twitter seems pure. Instagram is like showing off. Facebook is, yeah. you know, people. <laughs> no. Um, I would say probably probably Twitter. Um, I don't know, I I don't like taking pictures. Um, I just I don't know. I just don't like taking pictures. So, you know, that's kind of what all Instagram is about. It's just taking pictures and people flexing what they have. And that's just yeah. not my cup of tea. So, like, I go on Twitter. It's a bunch of just reading things, and everyone's so real on Twitter. Um, and it's just such a funny app, like so many memes and people just tweet and stuff. Um, so I go on Twitter just cause, you know, I get a good laugh. You can see videos up there. I feel like everything on Twitter, like Twitter is always up to date with what's going on. So I always just text Twitter no matter what. Right. That makes sense. So when you wake up in the morning, what's the first app you check? Is it your email? Um, no, I actually check my email once I open my laptop just cause it's easier to read for me on my laptop. Um, but usually when I first wake up, I'll see if I have any missed calls or any text messages and see who they're from and then try to get back to them. And then it, it varies. It's either if I have a Snapchat, I'll go on Snapchat just because I don't use Snapchat that much. So I feel like if someone's Snapchatting me, it's probably for an important reason if they don't have my number. So I usually check that. Um, but it varies between Instagram and Twitter. Um, so if I see like a text message of like, oh, did you hear this? I'll go right on Twitter to check if it's news. Um, but most of the time, it's, it's probably Instagram. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. 